Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. If you guys haven't heard of Squarespace yet, then do check it out. You can check out my website that's hosted on Squarespace at www.megsquats.com. Hello, my strong, strong friends. Okay, I'm gonna try something new. I wanna vlog and update you guys on things, but the problem is any one given day of my life is typically boring. So I think compiling a lot of the clips into a week just makes sense. Today is just a typical work day. We ran some errands. I renewed my passport, very exciting, but I'm just sitting at my desk. If you guys didn't know, I own a company called Strong Strong Friends and we coach, we have almost 8,000, might even be more than that, 8,000 lifters on our program, Stronger by the Day. So most of my job is making sure that they're happy and making sure that they have what they need. Also, I help with the marketing side. I make YouTube videos, informational content to get more people excited about and into the weight room and lifting. I'm putting together, you can see here, putting together a list of body weight exercises, searching to see what other people have done and like trying to find out if there's anything else I should incorporate and try to just get ideas from our current program so on stronger by the day yes here we go so this video has been getting so much more traction even though it's freaking three years old one of my favorite things is to go back and figure out how can i make this video more helpful that video was done in like a kind of playground place so i was doing a lot of pull-ups so my future videos will include no equipment at all i'm wrapping up work for the day and then we're gonna go train with emmerich and my brother, Mike, and my dad, but Emmerich is the one that everyone cares about, you know? Before we head to the gym, I just got this box from Sephora, refilling a lot of the things that I'd already used. Luckily, a lot of them are from The Ordinary, which is a very affordable skincare brand. This stuff is like the cheapest skincare. Rose hip seed oil, I've never used that yet. Hyaluronic acid, a lot of products have hyaluronic acid in it. They're like marked up because this ingredient is in it. So if you can find The Ordinary and just use this straight hyaluronic acid, this also has B5 in it, so good. There's a funny meme of like people trying to figure out what the hell <laughs> the ordinary products are couldn't tell you what this one is i love this moisturizer this is from junk elephant now this on the other hand is super expensive my go-to moisturizer for every everyday wear this is the banana bray eye cream i love this under eye every day morning and night I used to be such a huge fan of this and stopped using it. I think the one that I have is a lighter foundation shade and it was just too light for the summer. Better ingredients than what I'm using now and a little bit more of like a flawless sheen. So, house updates, all of our shit is everywhere and you'll see that our bathtub is out in the backyard because we are redoing our master bathroom. Oh, wow. it's looking so good with the shower. Yeah. I won't step on anything. They have this area is where the tub used to be and that's gonna be a vanity. The floor is maybe like halfway done. That's our closet. And then we've got new our shower tile like a nice pretty blue. I'm so excited about it. It's looking so good. That's the bathroom update. We got Stronger by the Day stainless steel shaker cups. So they have the lid like a regular kind of blender bottle or shaker cup, but it's stainless steel so it keeps it colder for longer. All right guys, we're at the gym. We got some murals done. Hello. So let me show you the first one. Here's our Stronger by the Day mural. If you guys didn't know, that's my baby, my program. Stronger by the Day, you can join for $8 a month. And then you might have gotten a little sneak peek. Look at this freaking one. Look how sick this is. Who is that? Seriously. Like, looks like me, doesn't really look like me. <laughs> this is our Stronger Than Ever mural. Um, we're gonna put this on some shirts for Strong Strong Supply soon, but I just love having this little bit of inspiration for everyone so that one, they know that it's my gym, and two, I don't need to work out 
to look ripped on a mural cartoon of myself. There's another one. Let's see. It's right there, but I'm not gonna show it to you because it's a secret, okay? Soon you guys will see the final murals. Anyway, let's train. Today's a super easy session. We are kind of tapering before we hit big deadlifts on Saturday. You ready to hit a big deadlift on Saturday? Everybody, this is Emmerich. I think you guys have already met him several times now. But he's psyched for Saturday's session. Yep. Only four reps. A little heavy for him. <laughs> That was a PR. When he was performing the reps, I thought, mm, probably a little too heavy. <laughs> so now we know it was. Yeah, Megan. It's Thursday. Today I'm studying for my CSCS exam. I'm on a testing. This is just on test selection and administration. Mostly this stuff will be applicable for people who are going into fields where they're working with athletes that are strength training to get better at a specific sport. Like a lot of people who take the CSCS exam are going into collegiate athletics um, or working with kids. But most of the time I'm training with people who are like really interested in lifting for the sake of lifting and general strength. A lot of times, you know, my background, uh, tests, administration and selection is already built into strength programs, at least the way we do it. So anyway, I wanted to share with you guys that this chapter was pretty quick to go through. This kind of first third of the book was all exercise science, which is stuff which is out of my realm. I'm talking about like on the cellular level type shit. These next few chapters will definitely be things that I'm more familiar with just in a general sense. Definitely still picking up some new language. You know, it'll be interesting to see things like speed tests and agil agility tests, which aren't things that I normally do, but I may in the future. I typically try to study like one to two hours a day and I got a late start today, so it's time to go back to normal work and then training. My most important study and work tool is probably this freaking egg timer. I love this. It just helps me keep on track. And if I ever lose focus while the egg timer is going, I'll sort of remind myself like, girl, you only have like 10 minutes left, five minutes left. Just keep focused while you can. I also wanted to show you guys a new piece of furniture that we got. So this is a buffet. We've also hung some artwork, although we don't really like this setup. <laughs> we might change that around. I might actually move this elsewhere because I feel like it just doesn't get enough love being in the, this is like our formal dining room, which is just my study area. But I just love this color so much. I think it could be somewhere where it'll actually be seen more often. I love this freaking thing. Got it from this fancy furniture store called Mitchell Gold which is also where these lamps are from. It's called like Bob Mitchell Gold, Mitchell Gold or something like that. But definitely a pricier purchase, but I do love it. I think it's so awesome. Oh, I guess I'll add, I'm thinking about putting that green thing here because this looks too small here. I also 100% am wearing overalls. I got these from Amazon. They're Levi's. Are they the most flattering? No. Not at all, but honestly, who cares anymore? Like really, who cares if it's flattering or not? We're getting our sofa tomorrow. I'll include that in the video. I'm excited because let me show you that great room. I gotta find a better name for it because it seems pretentious. It's kind of when you open the front door on this side, it leads straight into this 
and it's an awesome, beautiful room. Has the mirror, the chandelier. It's awesome, but there's been no furniture in it this entire time. So we've been waiting on a custom couch that we've ordered from this place called Monarch Sofas. I cannot wait to get it. It'll be here tomorrow. I can't wait to show you. So many house updates in this video. I feel like things are finally coming along. I know you guys like to see them a lot, but yeah. Let me know if you're still here. Let me know what you think about like this kind of vlog week thing. Cause like I said, exciting things don't happen every day, but over the span of a week, I think I can piece together enough excitement. Um, usually I'm just right here though, working for my clients, making sure everything makes sense and is clear. And we're helping people learn how to lift. That's what my job is. Okay, bye. Okay, one of the things that I do for my test prep is I use this app called Fitness Prep, Fitness Prep, or you can look for the CSCS Pocket Prep app. And I just, the thing that's so frustrating about this test, so I'm taking the CSCS exam uh, to become a certified strength and conditioning specialist. I have several fitness certifications, but this one is the highest regarded, which makes it really, really difficult. Um, but I just had this question and I got it wrong. <laughs> because it really is, and a lot of people have given me this recommendation, you really just have to learn how to answer the questions based on like what they want. So this question kind of gives you the position that a lifter is in. The way I answered was, like just kind of guessing what they want to hear even if i don't recommend that isn't this so confusing so no her feet should be wider at least shoulder width but it says her feet are hip width most women's hips i think statistically hip width is slightly more wide for women than shoulder width so that's why i didn't answer that way anyway Today's the day, we're getting our couch. Oh my God, say goodbye to the empty great room. I'm kind of sad because we have other furniture that's supposed to be coming in to go behind the couch, like two bookshelves will go behind the couch. And since we're getting our bathroom redone, all of our kind of bathroom shit is everywhere. But, okay, remember this, remember it. Are you ready? It's ready for you to see. Da -da 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 Look at her. She's beautiful. <gasps> Hold on. Let me fix. Let me fix this. So I know. Okay, my my stepmom, Carolyn, she told me I was crazy for wanting to get a white couch. Because <laughs> obviously one day we plan on having kids. But we got the bone. I don't know, some kind of extra protection for the couch. This is from Monarch Sofas. It's custom to fit this area, and I love it. What do you think, Ryan? It'll look better when it's not shit. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm so excited. I honestly, babe, I think we could add another middle set. Middle set. Yeah, we were talking about that. I want to get a piano and put it here. So. This room will kind of be like, we have our record player here. I don't want to have a television here, but this will be like the kind of chillin' area. Hopefully we can read books, <laughs> maybe play games. 100% we need a bigger rug too. I'm so happy we have it. It looks so good. It's pretty. It's like, I feel like it's a nice combo of looking kind of formal, but still being casual and cozy. cozy. I love it. We have a couch. Okay, I just got back from the grocery store. Uh, I went to Sprouts, which was new for me. I wanted to show you guys what I got, but also I shared these on my Instagram story. I got two packs of these from Costco. You guys always ask me how I like them, so here's my overview. They're basically containers for fresh produce. The guide to let you know whether or not you should open the air vents that they have on the side here, or, and or, but water in this little tray 
So it's supposed to keep your vegetables and fresh produce fresher longer. I haven't noticed a huge difference, but I do find that I am more organized in the fridge when I transfer over to these. I can also see everything and just looks better like my fridge. It keeps my fridge more tidy. Does it keep my produce fresher longer? I'm not exactly sure yet. A lot of people have told me the trick of taking your greens or lettuce and putting a wet paper towel on them and that has worked. I've noticed that that's worked a little bit. So I think it's kind of the same thing, but honestly still doing the wet paper towel I still do the wet paper towel thing on top of my greens overall they make your fridge look cute but is it a huge game changer probably not oh well, anyway let me show you what I got went to sprouts today mostly like when I start going to the grocery store that was the tripod for your information. Um, when I go to the store I usually start in the vegetable aisle and then move on from there so I have mostly fruits on that side vegetables everywhere else i make this roasted broccoli salad has roasted broccoli avocado i think basil and tomatoes it is unbelievable super greens for smoothies and salads i've got cilantro green onion i never cook or do anything with radishes so I wanted to try something new today and get these. Romaine lettuce, I wanna make a Caesar salad this week. And then English cucumber, I made this cucumber smash the other day. It was amazing, it was like the Din Tai Fung cucumber salad. We'll see what these are like, I've never tried anything like this. A Couple of condiments, sesame seeds, that's for the cucumber salad. Just the rest of the vegetables for the week, avocado, squash, all of that. The biggest change that I've had since starting keto is that I'm adding in more fruit into my diet. Probably just like one or two servings a day. Yeah, sometimes it's nice to just snack on sweet fruit. I have started having smoothies, so my regular smoothie recipes, just frozen berries, some yogurt, Sometimes I'll add some protein powder in there, um, and that's really it. I got these just because they are so convenient, but this is not something that I used to get during keto. But also, this is just to enjoy today. It's Friday party. <laughs> um, so that's my grocery haul. I know you guys have been asking for an update to the keto experience and video. I am still working on it and trying to figure out exactly what I want to say and like what my conclusions were. I'll keep you guys updated on when that's coming out, but that's my grocery haul. All right guys, today's the day. It's Saturday. What are we doing? 71, well, 70 pound deadlift. Well, <laughs> Emmerich's going for a deadlift PR. We're at the end of the Stronger by the Day deadlift block. A lot of our lifters have been working really hard. This cycle crushed me, I won't lie. Emmerich's going for his PR today, and we'll be lifting. And the goal is 70 pounds, right? Your current PR is 59 pounds. And how much do you weigh? 70. 70, so we're going for a body weight deadlift today. We'll see. Hey, if we get 60 pounds, that's one more, so that's still good. But we'll see what we can do, right? And what are we gonna focus on? Form, concentration, and building muscle. Yes. <laughs> Emrick is starting a YouTube channel too, guys. Whenever it's ready, I'll let you know. What's it called? Hello, bro squad. <laughs> That was our warm up. We'll speed it up for you guys so you can check it out. Dad came up with this warm up, my fascia. It's a little bit more dynamic than what we were doing before, so I think it helps a lot of new things that I never have done. So I'll be sure to list them so you guys can learn about them. PR! Come on, Emmerich. Yeah! Wasn't even hard for him. Okay, I gotta show you one thing about that one. 
Emmerich, do you have a PR song request? Oh yeah, remember Rocky? Yeah, Rocky. Rocky, huh? Rocky. All right. Come on, Em. Go squeeze at the top. Yeah. It's like a main salad. And say, I'm gonna just keep doing it. I'm not gonna let go. And squeeze your butt at the top. Let's go! Come on! Come on, Emmerich. Come on. Push to the floor. Don't quit. Keep going. Yeah, keep going. <laughs> you got it. Did, you see did what he did? just teach himself what a mix grip is? No, no. I did he just invent that? I see Megan do that. Maybe I should try this. <laughs> he just. Oh my god, that was awesome. Yeah, it's easier that way, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Come on, Emmerich. <laughs> He's so good at it. <laughs> How'd that feel? <laughs> Squad's doing black burns. Great shoulder health exercise. Mike's on deadlifts. Older bro's doing deadlifts today. And I am gonna go for heavyish bench. Hey guys, it's Sunday. We had an awesome day yesterday with Emmerich and hitting his PR. I didn't really show much of my lifting at all. I didn't really show much of my lifting in this video at all, but hopefully it's kind of cool to give you guys an idea of what we do week to week. Yeah, I've always said like, day in the life's kind of boring because I'm usually at my desk all damn day, um, but let me know if you guys wanna see more of those week in the life kind of thing. If you do, then please do give this video a like, and if you wanna see more of my videos, then subscribe to this channel. I just finished filming a bunch of YouTube helpful content. I made a video for um, wrist strength and trying to find um, good uh, ways around push-ups if you're having wrist pain in the push-up position. Um, so I made a video on that, I made a video on the whole body hold. Uh, I've got a ton of fun stuff coming up, so uh, stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for checking out today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Again, today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. So thank you to Squarespace for making this one possible. If you guys haven't ever tried Squarespace yourself or checked it out, then you can start by checking out my website, megsquats.com. Squarespace hosts my website and they honestly make it so easy for me to update everything. It looks amazing. It looks like a professional designed it, not me, myself. I made that website myself. And Squarespace has many features to make your website look super professional. So if you're someone like a personal trainer, you can use all the features that they offer. For example, they offer an appointment scheduler so your clients can go onto your website and book sessions with you. And also you can do things like pull in your social media accounts so you're always able to add fresh content to your website and it'll just pull straight from your Instagram or Twitter. Um, 
So they're just, those are just a few of the features that Squarespace offers. If you guys are starting a business or know that you need a website for something that you're working on, then head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, what you can do is go to squarespace.com slash meg squats and you can save 10% off of your subscription. So you can get started and start designing your website completely for free, but whenever you're ready to sign up and make it official, be sure to use my code so that you get an extra discount. Okay, I'm gonna leave all those links down below. Thank you so much, Squarespace, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Here we go now.